Welcome to my no bullshit review of the Rokon. Now I've had it for just over a year now and I have run this thing, as you may have seen, I have run this thing as hard as physically possible. As hard as this thing will let me push it, that's as hard as I push it. It has never faltered even once. There's been a couple of times where uh, rider difficulty or rider inexperience came into play many times where I've tipped it over. <laughs> but overall, this thing has been just a phenomenal rig. Like honestly, just phenomenal. I kind of bought this thing unknown. Um, I'd only heard about them through friends and family and I decided that it was something that I would be into. I mean. I mean, who doesn't want two-wheel drive, big wheel, go anywhere, do anything, load anything you want, haul whatever you want type action, right? So I bought it and you saw, you probably saw my very first review or first video, the uh, trail breaker um, video, which I'll link down below in the uh, description. So there's a few things that I love and a few things that I don't love so much. I'm gonna take you through those real quick here. I want this to be kind of a shorter video because nobody wants to sit there and watch 25, 30 minutes of me talking about how cool these bungee straps are on the back. That's not that's not kind of what I am. I'm, I mean, have you seen, a, I try to do as much action sequence as this as possible. Most people out there that I've seen, and I've, I've been all over YouTube trying to find uh, everybody, anybody and everybody that runs Rokons, and nine times out of 10, they're cruising down a nice packed trail they're really not doing much. They're doing a couple hill climbs here and there. Not very impressive if you ask me. <laughs> but I'll leave that up to you. Let me know in the comments what other things you may have seen or may have th other things maybe you have done. Like I said, it's been phenomenal. A few things that I have not liked on this thing are obviously there's lack of suspension, right? There's, there's, one, there's one spring down in the seat and then all you have, the only other suspension you get is up here on the front, right? But that, at the same time, it makes up for itself because you can air down the tires. And I usually run the tires somewhere between, I don't know, somewhere between 1 and 5 PSI. Obviously, more track, the more track width, track path you have, the more traction you get, right? So I've tipped it over so many times, right? Oh. Things that have kind of fallen short in terms of what I was expecting to get with such a high dollar American made piece of equipment, right? The foot pegs are very flimsy. I've bent and rebent those back to where they need to go. The tow bar back here is dented from simply riding in a trailer, bouncing back and forth a little bit here and there. This uh, brake lever is broken from the very first time I tipped it over. It lasted four seconds out of the, out of the truck. The chain guard up there is rubbing. Uh, the rear foot pegs are a little bit, they're pretty sloppy. Look like they almost want to fall off. Um, I lost a bolt in the seat just because of how much it rattles. This front uh, luggage rack is not up to the standards that I put it through. For a normal for a normal rider under normal use, this thing would probably work well. But in my case, um, it's bent at a place to where if I if I bolt this piece back in, it rubs on the front disc and then makes really bad noises. Fuel mileage is phenomenal. I can run. I can run all day and then some on most of a tank of fuel. I don't even have to be full. Everyone else is bringing extra fuel. I just top that off and we go all day plus. A couple of really awesome things that I that are that are um, really great are the tires. These are the Grim Reapers, oversized obviously. They grip in absolutely everything: mud, dirt, snow, as you've seen, trees, as you've seen. Like I said, I, I don't hold back when I take this thing places. One major drawback, one major drawback that I that I know that I know and everybody that rides a Rokon knows and you at home watching this also know without even having to ride it is it is underpowered. It's seven horsepower, three speeds and does well, but there's definitely room for more for more horsepower in, in there. And that might be something that comes later for me or maybe I don't know, maybe Rokon's thinking of bumping it up horsepower wise. But either way, 
that's the one thing. It's hard to gain momentum with such little horsepower getting up certain hills. And I know it's not a motocross bike and I know that it's not built for high speed. Obviously it'll do about 35 ish. I've had it to about 35, 36 going down a hill in third gear. Yeah. Other than that, it, like I said, man, it has been a phenomenal bike. Phenomenal. I wouldn't trade this thing for anything. As long as you maintain it, that's the big one. You gotta maintain it. Change the oils, check the alignment on the front tire and the, and the sprockets and the chains. Rear tire sprocket chains. Uh, make sure all of your bolts are tight. This one was, but it still fell out. Make sure you got a new air filter. You know, I mean the basics. Everybody knows the basics. Um, I ended up having to put a new handlebar on it because the other one couldn't handle the abuse. I tipped it over a couple times. It ended up becoming more U-shaped. I posted something like that on Instagram. You can see it if there if you'd like. If you don't have one and you're thinking about buying one, I suggest you do it because they are, I feel like they're kind of the uns unsung heroes of the motorcycle world. There's a couple other electric variants coming out, but I don't think they hold up quite as well as these do. I mean, you've got towing, towing capacity. This thing will tow like 2,500 pounds, right? And none of those other electric doodads will. This one, you can store a whole bunch of fuel and water or whatever you need in the wheels. The other ones won't do that. They're all spoked wheels. Uh, this one has a 12 volt plug-in. I don't, I haven't seen any other, any other rig do that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, throw them down there in the comments box. Shoot me an email. My email's on the YouTube page. Shoot me a message at, uh, on Instagram. Same thing, throttle works. And if you've got a Rokon and you want to, and you're in North Idaho and you want to rip around, let me know. I am always looking for someone else to go Roconning with. Can't think of anything else off the top of my head. You probably already clicked off by now, but if you haven't, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other ideas, thoughts, whatever you, whatever you think of, you want to see this thing do, you let me know because I will make it happen. I promise.